Open Heavens on the Go, Saturday, September 25th, 2021. Topic, Weep Not, Rather Rejoice. Memory Verse, 1 Thessalonians 5.16 Rejoice evermore. Bible reading, Luke 7, 12 to 15. Now, when he came nigh to the gate of the city, behold, there was a dead man carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. And much people of the city was with her. And when the Lord saw her, he had compassion on her and said unto her, Weep not. And he came and touched the bear, and they that bare him stood still. And he said, Young man, I say unto thee, Arise. And he that was dead sat up and began to speak, and he delivered him to his mother. The Message One of the shortest verses of the New Testament, which is also our memory verse today, says, Rejoice evermore. Today, we read about the command, weep not. This command is easier read than, than obeyed, but then it should still be obeyed. A widow lost her only son, and Jesus Christ commanded her not to weep. The Lord is saying to you also, don't weep, but rather rejoice. Because he will intervene in that situation that is drawing tears out of your eyes. Weeping doesn't solve any problem. It is merely an expression of sorrow. Weeping could be detrimental to those who indulge themselves in the habit. Weeping blurs vision and reasoning, both physically and spiritually. Weeping, particularly when God says don't weep in such situations that appear unpleasant, is an indirect protest against God's command. And anything that we do contrary to the command of the Lord is an act of rebellion. The Bible assures us that weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Psalm 30 verse 5. We are most blessed if we believe this scripture. Weeping blood Mary Magdalene's vision on the resurrection money to the extent that she mistook Jesus Christ for a gardener. John 20, 11 to 15. Jesus tried to console her, but she did not recognize him. Jesus saith unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seekest thou? She Supposing him to be the gardener, saith unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. John twenty fifteen. An antidote to weeping is reading God's word concerning his promises for us in the time of trouble. Another one is high praises to God who specializes in reversing the irreversible. The Bible says that when David was distressed at Ziklag because the wives and children of he and his men had been taken away captive by raiders, he appealed to God for his consoling word. He was not only consoled, but also assured of full restoration. 1 Samuel 31-8 Seek and speak the word of God that is applicable to your challenge in the time of trouble, then praise him. You will surely laugh last. In Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, please wipe away all tears from my eyes and remove those situations that cause me to weep today in the name of Jesus. Bible reading in one year. Proverbs 22. Him for today. Now thank we all our God. 
The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboye, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.